What's up, ponies? A lot has happened since my last apprenticeship update in uh, July 2019. So I think we're due for an update. If this is your first time hearing about software engineering apprenticeships or software development apprenticeships, I highly recommend that you check out the links in the description there to my other videos on the subject. And I mean, I couldn't recommend it more, okay? Especially for someone with no degree, you know, self-teaching themselves, an apprenticeship will really get you, give you that leg up. And if you want to hear about future updates about, you know, post-apprenticeship life, hit that subscribe button and I'd really appreciate it so, you know, we can stay in touch. Alright, so I'm going to answer a few questions that I've been getting about... Alright, so I'm going to answer a few questions that I have been getting since I posted that initial video. The first one is going to be, have you finished the apprenticeship? And I'm happy to report... I'm happy to report that I have. And this is what the certificate looks like once you've graduated. Yeah, I finished in February 2020 and it, it took me about seven months to finish the program. And it really just felt like the hugest weight lifted off my shoulders. Because as someone who dropped out of college three times, and I mean, I still have never finished, it felt really good to finally finish something, you know. And uh, it really, you know, motivates you to keep going and it makes you feel like you're going in the right direction. Another question that I've gotten is um, pertaining to if everyone graduates. So they're wondering if everyone graduates and get the job after. You know, and this is something that we struggled with a lot during the apprenticeship. We didn't really know. And you don't really know until you after, actually after you've finished and you get hired full time. Most of our cohort was hired, I'm pretty sure. As far as I know, it's a very rare case where someone doesn't make it into a full-time position after, you know, they've invested so much time and energy into your apprenticeship. So as long as you're putting in that time and effort into, you know, going through the curriculum correctly and just, you know, listening to your manager and going through the steps necessary that they deem necessary for you to move to the next step, then you're going to be fine. So another question that I've gotten is, what do I do now after the apprenticeship? So after the, right after the apprenticeship, I was given the opportunity to join something called the data team. And what we do there is that we uh, perform data migrations for businesses. So we take a uh, business's data and we move it into the cloud, basically. And specifically in the SAP um, infrastructure. So I feel like I got really lucky because I really enjoy full stack development. That includes like, you know, using JavaScript uh, for the front end and I I'm get, getting to use JavaScript for the back end too, which is perfect. So I'm getting full stack development with my preferred language of choice. And also get to use SQL to do, you know, business analysis on data, data sets and things like that for businesses to, you know, give them some insights into their data. So I feel like I'm getting a good taste of, you know, the data science world and the full stack development world, which I mean, I couldn't be happier with. So another question I've gotten is that if, another question I've gotten is asking whether you have to go into programming. So with these apprenticeships, it's their technical roles, but not all of them, you know, necessarily have to do with programming. So my cohort actually went into management or, uh, you know, there's other roles in the organization like finance and things like that. So whatever you go in with, whatever your strengths are, you know, you can play those to your advantage whenever you finish the apprenticeship. So you're basically taking what your exi existing skill set and complementing it with technical skills. Is the apprenticeship worth it? That's another question that I've gotten and I would have to absolutely say yes, it is worth it, especially for someone with no degree like me. And other people in my cohort also had no degrees whatsoever and we're doing great. Uh, in fact, some of my cohort got basically poached while they were in the apprenticeship. So, you know, I didn't know how, what kind of weight IBM had on a resume, but I mean, if they're getting job offers while just in an apprenticeship, then you can see how, you know, worth it would be to have IBM on your resume in general. Like you get a stable job afterwards and even if you don't get hired on full time, just having the apprenticeship and the, and the certificate really helps you a lot. Do we have to work at the office during the pandemic? So I feel really lucky that we were able to work from home. They asked us to work from home starting from the beginning of the pandemic. We're one of the first companies in uh, Louisiana right now to enact that. 
and it's been great. It's been like a dream come true basically because I'm more of an introverted type of person and not having a commute and being able to work in the comfort of, you know, my own privacy uh, has been amazing. But I know I'm going to have to go back to the office eventually and uh, everyone, I think everyone's going to be going back to the office at some point this year, hopefully at the end of the year, but who knows.